What's up everybody? Today uh, is going to be my first video for my new channel. That channel is going to be a dedicated to Mercedes DIYers who, you know, likes doing stuff themselves on their cars. And in that video we're going to be upgrading the basic uh, rear view mirror that I have on my 2014 GLK 250. As you can see it has no auto dimming feature no garage door opener no nothing just a basic mirror and we're gonna be upgrading that mirror to the one that i picked up on ebay for 38 bucks it has a auto dimming feature and uh, it also comes with a garage door opener so let's get started okay so first step that you need to do is you need to remove that cover that's uh this cover is for rain sensing uh thing that's right underneath that to remove that all you gotta do is just or you can use a uh that kind of thing it's a pry tool or wedge whatever you call that or you can just what i do is i just grab it under uh on the bottom and just pull it it's gonna come right off when you're done with that next thing you do is you're gonna grab that that cover the it's on top of the mirror so uh, it's holding uh, I think there is like four clips that holds it two up front and two in the back all you gotta do is just grab it uh grab the front part with uh, two fingers and just pull it down so it came right off the next thing you do is here you got to use that uh, pry tool next thing you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be releasing the the back of the cover that is holding by two clips sometimes it's it's a little bit of challenge but nothing too complicated okay I I just did one, so I got only one left. Don't go too hard on it, because you may end up breaking it. Because it's it's all plastic after all. There you go so the cover is cover is removed next what you do is you just grab the you just grab the mirror in the middle and that part is kind of tricky you gotta grab it real good and then all you gotta do is just yank it There is a spring in there. There you go. As you can see, the mirror is has been released and it's you know kind of like hanging and the only thing that is uh, that is holding it is uh, it's two wires I believe next thing you do is it's getting dark so I apologize for that <laughs> now you have to 
re remove the whole uh, that that part the you know the light itself I decided that it's it's gonna be better if I just uh, hold the camera with one hand and I'll try to you know remove the 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 whole cover with my right hand only so you can watch me doing that right now oops it was kind of hard to do it with one hand so yep the last step that you need to do is you gotta release that uh, that connector right there in the middle the white one you gotta release that using uh, you can use it either a small flat had screwdriver or you know whatever you want to use and the second cable is this one uh, that's the connector that's the second connector they're both white so one's kind of flat and the this one's flat and the second one is kind of like square in shape so there is a little tiny tab in the middle as you can see you just press on that and it should release the you know release the cable just like that So let me remove the uh, the last connector so I can release the uh, the mirror. Okay, so when it comes uh, back to putting everything together, uh, so as you can see, I'm installing the new mirror, the black one, and I have a. It's pretty straightforward process. You do everything in the reverse order, except for it could be kind of challenging for you guys to put the mirror back into its place because of that spring that you know that's holding it so I'm gonna give you a little tip all you gotta do is I'm using you can use a regular screwdriver I'm using this so you kinda you just do one side you just put it in and this the, the other side you just press right here with that screwdriver you gotta you gotta press kind of hard so it's gonna snap back into into place I'll try to do it right now again it could be kind of challenging <laughs> there you go so it took me like what like two maybe three minutes to put it to put it back so now as you can see the mirror is the mirror is installed and the rest is is like I said it's pretty straightforward you just there's two hooks that they are up front so you just mount them right here there's one on the the other one is on the on the other side. Make sure you align it so you don't break anything. There was a lot of cables behind that panel, so like I said, make sure everything is aligned. And as soon as you can, as soon as you hear two clicks, 
this thing is going to be back into its place. There you go. So the light is, is back where it's supposed to be. Now, all we gotta do is just put that cover back on. Be careful to not break those plastic clips in the back. I got two in the back and now all we gotta do is just use your thumbs and there you go. So all, all I got left is just that cover for the uh, rain sensor. You just align the cover and then you just slightly push it until you hear two clicks. This is it. So now I have a new mirror.